do you have any more superlatives about your tight end and about how valuable he is to this team? I mean, I, I don't know if any come to mind, but I think obviously you can see how many ways we got him involved today, uh, run game wise, pass game wise, and even some of our option stuff. So, uh, I mean, we, we just try to get him involved in, in the game plan as much as we can because we know what the type of player he is and how much he helps our offense just generate explosive plays in general. Um, but I mean, I think we got a lot of guys involved today uh, and that, that was a real positive. Like the ball was being spread around a, a pretty fair amount. Um, if I had to guess, I haven't looked at any stats yet. Do you think that's the best first half you guys have played as a team? For sure. I mean, having four drives and, and scoring on all drives um, in different in different facets. So, like end of the half, uh, two minute drive, and then we, we had a we had the score right before that. We we scored 14 points in the the first part of the middle eight, um, and that's a credit to the defense too, getting us the ball back with a lot of time and still having two timeouts, uh, giving us plenty of time to work with and and uh, having the luxury of having timeouts. Uh, so, I mean, I think we just played really good complimentary football in the first half, and you know, second half. Could have been better for sure. Um, it just came down to little little things on the first two drives, but you know I think we did a good job of bouncing back right after that. How important was that? It's, it's one thing, Drew, to think that you're going to be resilient, to, but to go out and show it. Can, can you just say what that means for this this team moving forward? Yeah, I mean I think it's kind of we've we've shown it all year in different ways. Uh, after a loss is a little bit different, isn't it? Or no? I'm not, I'm not uh, I mean I mean I just we honestly we were looking to to the forward to the opportunity to come out play in the whiteout and, and play play football. Um, um, at, at the end of the game, we, we or at the end of the day, we enjoyed it. Uh, but I mean, I, like you said, it, it is adversity that we, we face for coming in, coming off of last week. But again, it's just another form of adversity, and it's about how we respond to that to that adversity is what defines us as a team. Why was it so good at the beginning of this week? Is there anything you point to? Uh, I, I think it comes down to execution. Uh, I mean, I believe in our game plan every week. I think. There hasn't been a week this year where I've doubted the game plan going into the week uh, game, um, but we just came out and really started fast and executed the plays that we needed uh, that Coach K called, and uh, took advantage of our opportunities when we got down into the the red zone. Drew finding Julian for the touchdown, mm -hmm. obviously, and also hitting Trey as many times. Too. Yeah, how important was that to get the wide receivers involved? Uh, very important because again, like I know I said earlier this week, like the receivers make a ton of plays throughout games. Um, and you know, again, they get a lot of a lot of criticism, but I mean, I, I don't think it's fair at all. Like we had Julian show up on the touchdown today. Trey had a really good game. Liam had a big time catch uh, down down the seam. Um, so I mean, they, they played really well today. And you know, what's not going to get noticed is how well they blocked on the perimeter. Uh, and you know, they, they, they do a lot of the dirty work. Um, and obviously, they all want stats. We all want stats at the end of the day. But they're doing the necessary stuff to help us play really good team football and win games. What was Coach what did K's you message just leading up to this one? Can you say that again? What was Coach K's message leading up to this game? Um, just getting really just getting back to the basics. Uh, I think we had a really good week of preparation. That was one of our, our goals as an offense this week to have a great week of prep. Um, and honestly, that goes out to uh, shout out to the D squad. Like they're giving us unbelievable looks right now, uh, making it very game realistic for for me, uh, giving me really good looks, and, and that that helps everybody overall. Um, and again, like, like it, at the end of the day, it comes down to execution. And I think this week we did a really good do job of being very intentional about that, uh, executing the play calls that are called. Um, and then, you know, just, just capitalizing on those moments that we get those plays called. And I think we did a great job of that throughout the week. And then it showed up today. Drew, earlier this week you talked about the vertical pass game and what you guys needed to do better, maybe mm -hmm. on the first and second down to set yep. up some of those splash plays. Just what was working well for you offensively that allowed you to find all those receivers for, for big games? Yeah, I mean, I think it comes down to the number of plays. Like, uh, I know the last the last drive I was in, there was it was a 16 play drive. Um, so if you have 16 opportunities to call plays on that drive, a lot of people are going to get to touch the ball, and that goes for the rest of our drives too. Like we had like nine nine a couple nine yard uh, play drives in the first half that were scoring touchdowns. So again, we were staying ahead of the sticks, staying on time um, in the pass game. And the O-line did a really good job of, you know, getting movement going against their D-tackles and D-ends in the run game to allow uh, Nick and Fat to get to work, too. So, again, it comes down to, you know, just being being in uh, – an advantage for the offense like we were in third third and controllable uh, third and manageable the whole game I, I felt like like there wasn't maybe it was like one or two third and longs but other than that it was like all third third and four to six so you know if we're able to get into that range um 
you know, we'll be successful just because of the game plan we have. And again, uh, I think we did a good job of uh, getting first downs on first and second down today. Drew, would you say that what happened last week, what did this to you coming out with the stream this week? No, I mean, I think at the end of the day, we, we want to come out and start fast every week. That's a that's a point of our game plan every week, no matter the opponent, no matter the time of the year. So I think we just came out and had a really good start to the game uh, in, the, in the first quarter and then it carried over into the, to the second quarter as well. Is that the best half? God, you're good. Is that the best half of football you think that's on has played all season? Yeah, I think it. I think it's the best uh, complete half. Like we've had our moments this year, but I think we really put it together in that first half. Um, and again, I mean the second half, I think we we would have we would have done more better things again. But we just uh, obviously the turnover happened, and then um, you know the, the, we were driving down the field, and then obviously they called that one play incomplete. But other than that, we were scoring on every drive. So it was just two things today. Um, and, you know, obviously we'll get those things cleaned up, but we, we, we had a really good uh, execution day overall. How much fun is it playing with Ty Ward out there? I mean, and just all those things that he can do. Yeah, I mean, like, again, like, we're super creative on offense. Uh, I think you've seen that in many, many different ways throughout the year. And uh, obviously he's, he's our best playmaker um, on offense and the best tight end in the country. Uh, and we're going to get him involved in the game, game somehow, in some way, in some form of capacity. They was running a little bit down in the goal line and then getting him some shovel option tosses and then just getting him easy easy completions and then uh, he I mean he's hard to bring down. There wasn't many cases where one guy brought him down today. When you have a night game like this, do you guys watch the craziness that's going on around college football or are you just zeroed in on, on this game? Uh a little bit of both because we get a little bit of downtime uh, throughout the day and uh, you know, I'll sit around with a couple of teammates and watch some ball and kind of just look at our game plan. Um, but we, we try to stay busy throughout the day with walkthroughs and things like that. But, yeah, I mean, anytime we get a chance to watch football, we're, we're pretty much watching football. Going back to Tyler Ward, have you noticed defense is playing him a little bit differently now, maybe doubling him more often or things like that or scheming differently? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that because I think it's hard with our type of offense with how much moving we do with shifts, motions, and where he's lining up like he's not always in line he'll be flexed he'll be at, in the backfield so I think they have a lot more awareness of him I think it's fair to say um, and, and I, he's deserved that just because of how good of a playmaker he is but I mean I think they try to try to match up but it's just hard with how much moving and grooving we do with how many different personnels we get to on on each drive so it, it, it's very challenging and I think that's you know part of the reason why we've been so successful this year on offense so uh, we're, we're just looking forward to keep building on that it was another game where Amari wasn't really involved in the past game. What's going on with that, and how are you looking to develop that connection with them? Yeah, I mean, we, we had a couple shots, a uh, couple shots downfield, but you know, we can't really force it downfield when when you're double covered. So we're we're trying to you know scheme him open because we know how big of an explosive threat he is to us, um, and we're we're trying to get him the ball in so many different ways, uh, like the reverse today. Uh, so we're, we're trying to get him involved. Um, you know, unfortunately, the defense is kind of just taking it away at some point. Um, but eventually, we're, we're going to get him get him going because you know I, I have full confidence in Amari and his talent and his work ethic that he's and the amount of work he's put in throughout the entire off season and season. So I mean, I, I definitely want to get him involved in our game plan as much as we can for sure. Thank you. Drew, late in the game, you saw quite a bit of Corey Smith. What do you see from him, and how far do you think he can continue to develop? I mean, Corey, Corey's one of the most impressive young guys I've seen. Uh, I mean, obviously, we don't really get to see him on Saturdays just because of the backfield we already have in front of him with uh, Nick and Katron. But, I mean, Corey and, and, Q, and Q, uh I mean, have a lot of twitch to them, a lot of just natural ability overall. But the way, like, obviously you guys don't get to see it, but in practice, like, Corey makes a lot of guys miss. Like, the first guy's usually not tackling, and he's going to make make a guy miss. And, and he, has, he has, has the home run speed, too. Like, He's shown it off so many different ways uh, since he stepped on campus, and I think the biggest thing I've seen from Corey is like the last three, three or four weeks, like he's been practicing at a very high level. I think that's just him getting used to college, getting used to our playbook. Um, so he has a bright future ahead of him, and, and really a lot of a lot of other young guys in that class do as well. Drew, a lot of guys walked off the field today with smiles on their faces after a win. Obviously, last week was tough, tough week of practice. You guys are kind of refocused now and, and kind of ready to finish this season. Oh, yeah.
talk about the focus of the oh, uh, season out there. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, we got back to our fundamentals and basics this week uh, offensively. And, I mean, we were very close last week. Uh, obviously, that's in the past. There's nothing we can do about it. Can't dwell on it. And as soon as it got to Sunday night, we, we flushed it um, because we knew West Virginia was – or not West Virginia. God, that's, not bad. that's bad. Uh, Washington uh, is a very talented team, uh, very good schematically. Um, and, you know, I think we had a really good week of prep. Uh, it was one of our best weeks of prep overall. And I think that's kind of been the theme as our as a offense this year. Like, I think each week throughout the season, we've had a better and better practice Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and, and Friday. Like, I think we're having – we're really doing a good job of stacking practices. And I think that showed up today. So we just got to keep building on that, uh, you know, going through the rest of the season. And how important was a fast start today? Uh, very important. Um, defense did a great job. Obviously, they had the missed field goal, and then us going down and capitalizing on that right away. Um, and then, obviously, Jay Reed's turnover, being able to t uh, take that turnover and turn it into seven points is huge. Um, and, and just really going down in the first half and scoring on all four drives that we had is, is always going to be really good for us just because, um, you know, we'll, we'll be able to play ahead in the game, uh, control the ball, and then defensively, when we get that, like, two-score lead, like, you saw today, Abdul had two sacks. We're, we're, we're able to let those guys loose on the defensive side of the ball, uh, just be play aggressive. Um, so that's obviously a, a huge credit to really the whole team. I think we played really good complimentary football throughout the game today, and it showed up in the first half for sure. Why were you so good personally on third What's your favorite post-win uh, treat? You said third, third downs. You completed six passes, six of six, and yeah. a touchdown. Um, third downs. I mean, I think the biggest thing is it, it was third and manageable the whole game. I don't know what the longest distance we had, probably like eight or nine yards, and arguably could have been a complete pass uh, to Ty Warren um, that they called incomplete. But uh, other than that, I think we, we had a really good third down game plan. It comes down to game planning at first. Um, O-line did a great job of protecting up front just because they did so many different stunts and fronts up front on third down. And then it came down to our execution. Uh, we, we always put a huge emphasis on third down. Uh, specifically on Wednesdays because we know how important it is to stay on the field and, and be able to get into a rhythm and you know converting those third downs led to getting getting more guys involved in the game plan so that was a huge emphasis for us this week because last week we didn't have a great, a great outing in third down um, but I think it came down to we were staying ahead of schedule and we were we were playing super aggressive on third down because we were in those third and four to six range where we can be a little bit more aggressive. Thank you. Yep.